Yo, what's up my YouTube fam? Today is officially the rap party for the film, The Comforter. Now normally I have a big old party with pizza and donuts and cake and ice cream and soda, but with the current situation with the pandemic, I thought we gotta practice social distancing. I wanna be conscious of everybody's health, so therefore there's not gonna be a rap party. We'll have a virtual rap party. We'll all tune in and talk to each other and laugh and in spirit, we're all together. But let's see, August the 15th and August the 22nd were the last two days of filming. And as of yesterday, the film was officially a wrap. It was a grueling process. The editing on this film took its toll on the brother. That's why I haven't been on social media for a while, but it's done. Uh, as a matter of fact, today's the 23rd of August. There are test screenings beginning today um, in London, California, and in Ohio. Just small, small, small test screenings through through YouTube. And um, that's the first wave of promotion. I'm not going to do a third trailer for this film. I just don't want it, nothing to leak out or spoil anything, you know. Then September, there'll be a wave of private screenings starting to develop. And all of those people have permission to do a viewing and non-spoiler review of the film. There is an embargo up until the day of release in October. So I don't want the ending to get leaked out or anything like that. But yeah, it's done. It's official. Today stars the marketing campaign for The Comforter. And man, it feels good when you finish a project from beginning to end. And... It was easier because I'm not in this film. Well, I have a couple of cameos voice wise and uh, let's see if you can figure them out. <laughs> but yeah, the cast was great. The actors did the damn thing. I directed, produced, scored, edited, did everything behind the camera and it took its toll. Now, upcoming projects. I think I'm going to do a film, documentary film. Now that this is complete, I already got something scheduled coming up next for a film. It would be a full length documentary, kind of like the uh, guitarist, the dancer and the model, something along those, that level. It's an incredible, incredible documentary. So that'll be next. After that, I'm currently writing a script for another horror slash thriller. I'm writing a script now, but it all depends on how things go in the future. The pandemic is a big, big reason why things are being held up. But if I do get the green light to do this next film, it would be shot in Portland, Oregon, not here in California. So there would be traveling involved. I got to hire a crew and actresses and actors there in Portland to get this film done. Location is crucial. Uh, sets, everything is crucial. It's all to be done in Portland, Oregon. So the pandemic eases up and let a brother do his job. Hopefully, beginning of next year, I can fly out to Portland, Oregon, put a crew together and shoot that film while I'm there. That would be great. That'll be the next feature film after the um, documentary. Then after that, I think I'm gonna do one more documentary after the next horror film. So it'll go documentary, horse slash documentary after that. That should be coming up next for Blacktastic uh, Media. But man, I have a good feeling about this film. That's why I'm allowing test screens to start early as today. We're two months away from release, but I really want to get the buzz going. Like I said, I'm not going to have a third trailer. So these reviews will be my third trailer and essential for this film. At the same time, building hype, momentum going into October, getting closer and closer to Halloween where officially everybody can see this film. But yeah, the rap party has begun. Thank you so much. And man, what a journey this was to making the film The Comforter. Hashtag The Comforter. Get it out there. Until next time. Peace and keep loving film.